using embedded magic presets within your recipes to create awesome gradient looks in Grandma 3. Here's how to do it. Hey gang, so let's start with defining what a gradient actually is. So for me, a gradient is a range of static values applied to a set of different fixtures, particularly looking good when you have a lot of fixtures or at least a lot of different pixels for that matter. Let me give you a quick example. So let's select a few fixtures and type in at zero through 100, please. So now we have applied a dimmer range from zero through 100 over those selected fixtures in our truss. But of course, we want to take it a step further. Let's clear this out. And now we're going to select two fixtures of our fixture type. It uh, doesn't really matter which ones you choose, I just uh, randomly choose those two and bring the dimmer to full. And now we use the first fixture to set the start point of our gradient and the second fixture to set the end point. So with both fixtures selected, click next to select just the first one and choose a color preset. So in that case, I'll choose a cyan and then hit next. So now we got the second fixture selected and I select a magenta, for example. Now I'll um, select both of them again and press and hold the store key. And what you want to do is you want to enable embedded in your store options because this way the two presets that we have used um, will be referenced within your new gradient. And you want as preset mode have selective active. So store it, clear out. And now what you want to do is you want to edit the settings of this newly created preset and in the top right corner, activate the magic function. And what magic actually does is it will take whatever selection you have and interpolate um, the values that are stored within the preset. Let me show you. Let's grab this truss again. Let's bring the dimmer to full and let's apply the preset. And even though um, it is grayed out, you can apply the preset to those fixtures as well. And as you can see, we have our first gradient. Of course, you can also do this with more than just two steps. Um, let's take three fixtures, for example, bring the dimmer up, hit next. And what should we do? Uh, let's pick an amber. Let's go next, let's pick a purple. Let's go next and pick an ember again. Um, select all three of them, press and hold the store key, activate embedded and select selective as preset mode. And here we got our new preset. Let's enter the settings, activate magic and let's grab a different truss, for example, for example, this one, edit and apply the gradient. So that's really cool. And from here, we'll take it another step further and we'll make use of those gradient presets um, within a recipe because the big advantage of having it um, applied to a recipe is that you can um, modify your group and having reapplied your gradient dynamically with changing the group. So as an example, um, I will store these fixtures 
in this group and I'll override it. So this now is our group and I'll bring it to full just so we can, we can see the fixtures. And now we'll create a new recipe. I'll do it in the programmer parts window and then I will assign this group as a selection and I will assign this gradient to the values tab. And you can see our gradient is up and running. So let's store this to a queue. And you can see, well, great, the gradient is there. However, I will bring all the washes to 100. And now I will update this group with my wash grid group. And you will see that the recipe applies the gradient over the whole group. So let's grab the wash grid group, hit store and override it. And you can see, well, now the gradient is applied to the whole group of fixtures, which is great um, because now you can have um, different gradient presets and you can then apply it to how many fixtures you want. And the best thing about it is that we have embedded our main color presets within this gradient preset, right? So to prove this to you, I will um, edit the amber preset and just make it red. Let's hit update and I will update the red preset, which we have embedded within the gradient. So when I clear out, you can see, well, now the gradient is from red to purple to red instead of amber. Unfortunately, however, those magic presets, they can just be applied to the same fixture type that you have created the preset in the first place. So even though we have created it as a selective preset, um, by changing it to a magic preset, it more or less works as a global preset. However, it unfortunately doesn't work as a universal preset. So when you have a different fixture type and you want to apply those gradients, you would have to build the preset again. So that is my workflow with gradients within Grandma 3. And it's just two examples that I showed you, right? So please feel free to get creative with it apply the gradients to more than just one dimension and maybe even experiment with different feature or feature groups and not only applying gradients to the dimmer or the color feature group, right? If you enjoy this kind of content, then please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, activate the bell and see you next time.